maisha ambao ni kiwango cha kutiwa mafuta maisha ambao ni kiwango cha mtu aliyetiwa mafuta na Mungu na mpendwa mafuta ni nini mafuta ni wakati ambapo guvu ya roho mtakatifu inafanya kazi kwa mtu ambaye ni mtu kama wewe is what the supernatural power of the holy ghost works in a natural person like you to achieve supernatural results ni wakati kazi unajua there is one thing kuna kujazwa roho mtakatifu na kunena kwa lugha na kuna kazi ya roho mtakatifu kuanza kazi ndani yako mpaka wewe uliye mwanadamu unaanza kutekereza mambo ya Mungu ambaye si mwanadamu are you understanding that one can happen in all levels yes yeah, at deka katika uponyaji god can heal the sick in a supernatural way ni wewe tu mwanadamu ambao wewe kawaida tumaini lako ni dawa tumaini lako ni chanjo tumaini lako ni akili ya mwanadamu lakini mafuta imekupatia uwezo wa kuamini Mungu beyond natural kwamba the way uko human uko na another aspect in God whereby kuna nguvu ipitao mwanadamu that works through you that is anointing it is work anointing is work i say anointing is a work which work holy ghost work where in you to do what to do the things that disable god only god can do bwana yesu asifiwe sana let me tell you something mwanadamu the way to meumbwa na the way dunia iko lazima kuwe na nguvu za Mungu otherwise mipaka tuliyowekewa na vikwazo za wanadamu na laana za shetani na ugumu wa maisha it requires the higher power from god to take over kama tutaishi tu pahali tumefikishwa tutakuwa watumwa wa hali tutakuwa watumwa wa mipangilio tutakuwa watumwa wa natural that's why bahari ya shamu iliposimama na hiyo ilikuwa bahari the anointing katika Musa ikaanza kazi to achieve supernatural akasema tulieni leo mtaona ukobozi wa Yehova hao wa Misri kwa maana mliwafikiria kimwili mkaona vile watawaua you are going to see the other side the supernatural wakishughulikiwa beyond what you think walipiga kelele kwa maana kiakili wameezwa walilia wakakumbuka misiri kabisa kwa sababu kiakili wamewezwa but when supernatural came amen the natural had to keep quiet stop complaining stop your thoughts now give god chance when god has given chance na mambo inatedeka in his strength anointing is working and that's why musa aliambiwa can you order these people to march forward and then it was the sea enda walipokalimbia wakakanyanga bahari moses akaambua nyosha fibo huza bahari bahari kawa jia kuu na wakapita hiyo hiyo sasa ndio level ya anointing bwana yesu apewe sifa bwana yesu apewe sifa why is god teaching us this let me tell you na munisikize kuna mambo about kabisa inahitaji hizi nguvu kuna hali ambazo zinahitaji kunenewa na level nyingine ya nguvu kuna magonjwa kama Mungu hataingilia ni kubaya kuna laana zime, zime, zimewekwa zinasema hutaishi unakuta familia zingine we are put in a pattern can you tell some friends have you realized there's an issue 
Let me tell you something. In every family, in every individual, unless ukai kwa maombi sana, hauta kosa issue that causes you to be desperate. Desperate in this context. Yani, ni kitu kina kina zidi. Ni kitu ambacho now akalia kuna mahali umefika unless Mungu aongee akili yako imechoka kuna mahali umefika kifedha Mungu asipoingilia kabisa hiyo duke tafugwa kuna mahali tumefika wapendwa Mungu asipoingilia hao watoto huoni wa Kenya University kuna mahali tumefika Mungu asipoingilia huoni ukiolewa au ukioa Do you know there are areas tumefika ambapo is only faith in God that gives you comfort Kama ukikuwa imani katika Mungu aitoe Jehovah ugeisha ugekuwa na ugojo wa moyo ugekuwa umerukwa na akili but that's because there's faith in God who is living faith in God who is powerful Ah, you, are, you have peace in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuna watu hapa, kama kukekua na imani, katika mugu unayejua, anaitua Jehovah. Iyo nyumba, unashiru ogeenda nyumbani leo, kufanya nini? Kama kukekua na imani katika mungu, unashiru wa, iyo familia yenu, the way mulikuwa set. Mugeisha water in the T70. Some of you, you are product of God. Just God. Now, let me say this. Kuna kitu nataka muerewe kita tedeka. Amen. We are getting to a point ababa hakuna mutu atajidai na hakuna mutu atakuwa na sauti yake personal. People will live by faith. The just shall live by faith in God. Kwa ba utapata unambirios of money lakini watu wakiongeo na wambia stop it, this is grace utapata unamuke na watoto unamume na watoto ukiwangalia unashidwa how and when did this happen badara kusema nilikuwa na arusi kubwa badara kusema nilikuwa na hii na hii unambia watu musionge this is God I say in the name of the Lord kuna watu hapa amen Kira wanaenda kuwa. Itafanya ata wewe mwenyewe. Uipe wibompia. Kuki mtazama. That's why. Kuna maisha ambao. Na ya ita maisha ilio inje ya shimo. Katika Psalms 40. The Bible says. Nalimuliria buwana. You know that Psalm is powerful. Inasema. Mwenye sabuli alesema. Alikuwa katika shimo. La uharibifu. La udongo wa uteresi. And the Bible says in chapter 14. Inasema what happened. Buwana he also brought me up. Brought me up. Out of horrible pit. Nani ya memtoa? Ishimo. Ukiagalia the Bible. Ukiagalia. What the Bible talks about in Psalms 40 is a condition that only God anaweza kukutoa. One condition ni shimo, pit, horrible one. Number two, ina udogo wa uteresi. Horrible na uteresi. Uteresi means however much you work, hakuna mali unaenda. You are just mak timing. Unaenda unarudi. Unaenda unarudi. Kibiashara. Kiakili. Kifamilia. Nikutelesa. Unakuta miaka 20. No progress. Umekua kienda kazi na kurudi. No progress. Utelesi. And the Bible say. Niamuliria buwana. Nikua kwa hiyo hali. Haka ni inamia. Haka ni sikiza. Haka ni toa katika shimo na uharibifu. Katika udogo wa utelesi. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Na Bible asemaje and he 
set my feet upon a rock and he established my steps and he has put a new song in my mouth mambo about no man has done is god number 1 ni yeye amenitoa kwa heshima number 2 he has set my feet upon the rock ni yeye hata hiyo number 4 he has established my steps and number 5 hata wipo about ni naiba si wagu ni yeye ameweka wipo mpya in my mouth do you know do you know kuna mtu hauna kitu cha kusema katikati ya watu I know it tumeishi dunia na kuambia hatutaki kucheza sisi Amen ugeenda mkutano afadhali unyamaze wengine waongee Ukiongea chea manana shiro unasema nini? Una nini? Wewe ni wawapi diyo wonge. Vido mevaa. Ata kuvaa kwako. Kuna onekana una akiri ya kutosha. Kiatu abao mevaa. Ata kinaongea. Before you speak, your shoe can tell people who you are. Mutoto wako kitokea. Vire kameka. Kana, kana onekana, kame toka mashimo gani. But let me tell you, God can give you a position. Akutoe katika shimo roharibifu, akutoe katika udogo wa uterezi, ni yae tu mwenyewe, hallelujah, and he set, ego set on a guy, he set you. He set your feet on the rock. Rock ni mutu kupata foundation ya jabu. Oh, now I have a position. I have a voice. Rock, ni kupewa musimamo. Rock, ni kupewa a position. Rock, ni kupewa a status. Rock, ni kupewa jina katikati ya watu. Rock, ni kupewa a lifestyle. He gave me a name. He gave me a platform. He gave me a status. He gave me an appearance. Ata kutokia bere ya watu. He gave me an appearance. He gave me a voice. Na eza ongea wa sikie. Na nikinyamaza kukometi. Ata kama tuko watu ichirini. Wanasema na ure muzea ongea. Berendi ata. Ata walikuwa wanasema unafanya nini we ata. Ata. They only needed your vote. Today mkutano hauta isha. Kama waja sikia what you are saying. God has given, he has set your feet. I tell you, God has set your feet. Na kama haija kuwa set, in this meeting we are declaring maisha ya anointed level. One of the characteristics ya anointed level of faith, anointed level of life, ni buwana kukutowa kwa maisha ya tabiabili, uharibifu na uteresi. Horrible life. Slippery life. Whereby, Hakwewe, hakuna kitu unaonekana duniani ukifanya. Kifedha, kiakiri. Kwa muka kwako unaenda, unapata shiki miyamonja. Inabidi utebe mugu mpaka kayole, just to save money for food. God can set your feet on a rock. Rock is identity. Rock is status. Rock is a lifestyle. Lock is a meaning. Lock is a new mindset. Lock is a new way of feeling and breathing. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know something? Okay, I some. The position speaks. The setting speaks. Aka nisimamisha kwenye mwamba. Aka weka wibompia kwa kinywa changu. Bwana asifiwe. And the Bible says, Mene will see, not hearing, they will see. Mene will see it and fear. I declare to you, kuna setting. Ah, hallelujah. 
Ina mikoro wabia bwana set my feet on the rock my god muda wangu umefika hata mimi niipe wimbo mpya muda wangu umefika hata mimi uniweke juu ya mwamba muda wangu umefika nikionekana watu wakiniona wa kuogope pigia yesu makofi my god my god it is possible you do it to me ah wapendoa it is possible it is possible i said it is possible do you know why sometimes you get into the devil? Who you move to alikuwa kwa horrible pit. Alitana kwa sababu amekata hiyo maisha. Kile kilifanya Batimayo atorewe kando ya barabara katika Mark chapter 10 verse 46. Ni kwa maana Batimayo aligudua maisha kando ya barabara si mazuri. Na batu akagudua Kristo anataka atoke hapo na akagudua Kristo akimuita hata muache kwa kando barabara do you know you also need a new faith you also need a new understanding of god how can you be in such a church where god is speaking where god is moving na hautajua ni mapenzi ya Mungu utolewe kando barabara you see, kuna kitu kwa taka ujue. Mungu hugojea a reaction. Wenye ukoma wane, inje ya lango la Samaria. Amen. Katika 2 Kings chapter chapter 7 verse 2. Bayo nasema, haskizeni, you know, when the, when, mutu huwanza kubadrika lini. Jameni kama nikikalia mesa hivi. Sioni haja ya kiti kingine. God you just leave me there. Because mungu faida yake sio tu mujiza. Faida ya mungu in this kingdom ni kuona mtu wabaye anaelewa haki yake. Haku, hey, hallelujah. Do you know Faida ya mungu ni kuona wewe rising in standard and understanding. If God can come here, awapatia kila mtu milioni moja moja moja. I, I, I don't think it's, it's right way. Buwana getaka kuona, you know wewe mwenyewe. Kuna haja yu million na unajua mungu wakonae. Unana yu pote tukonae sometimes. Huna BD, hauna reaction Hauna umekatu, hauna nyumba inabomoka kwa koti kitu unaeka tu kratasi ingine ya kikobaju. Hello? Amen. Tumekutemberea kwa kwa tumeja tukakam paka kani mtukalia kichwa yako. Tumekalia hata kitada nyumba naanguka. I wish to tatebea tukiwa kanisa nusu. Tukai mpaka kwa paa. Useme tukisikia. Useme tukisikia. It is the will of God. Amen. Niwe na nyupa about all these people will sit comfortably. God akisikia hivo. With the money or without money. Heaven itasema. Kuna mtoto wa mungu amegudua haki ya kingdom. Mungu anangajia wigie hiyo wardrobe yako. Uone guzi gine haba hazifai. Uwabie buwana, ningetaka kukupendeza. Hizi nguwa hazikupendezi. Ningetaka kukutukuza. Ningetaka nikitembea kwa barabara. Hata nikisema yesu ni buwana. Anae tazama uso wangu. Anae tazama hata vya nimevaa. Hata guwa zitaongea. Nyue na itaongea. Meno itaongea. Amen. Hallelujah. Ujasidi wangu taongea Na buwana the way this wardrobe in a car Hii haiwezi ongea Nikisema yesu ni buwana Hii kiatu haisemi hivo Nikisema yesu ni buwana Hii nyuere haisemi hivo Nikisema yesu ni buwana Hii guo haisemi hivo I tell you with money or without money Heaven itasema Kuna mtoto wakifau me Amegudua standard za kingdom Na apere Hapo dipo yesu 
kuna kilio unajua Batimayo aliposema Yesu mwana wa Daudi ndehem Amen nataka msikize wanadamu kama kuna kitu can I tell something always forgive human beings special announcement forgive human beings wasa mahayo ni sana do you know why Christ alisema baba wasamehe hawajui wanaolifanya because they don't know they don't know hawajui na kwamba hawajui just as jesus said can you please forgive wanadamu no sisao kuogeza maneno ya yesu hawajui do you know why men wanakuchekelea hawajui mimi kama kuna kitu sasa kibadilika i and that's why sometimes people wanaona kama bishop anasubiriwa na watu kumekuja mtu anajikojolea hata kwa na bishop sema acha nionee value yangu kuhusu wanadamu is prophetic oh my god hallelujah 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 sometime in my life some people ambao Mungu unenea hata bila mimi hata nini unakuta mtu ameamuka ako UK ako Australia ako Nairobi he ako anywhere ambia you know one thing i have come to discover god uses so many people about we are connected katika anointing na katika kuzaa mtu unapata mtu akwambia bishop how are you yes agalia simu na mwambi hapa kuna 1500 ni ya nini bishop honijui nimepata simu yako nimepata simu yako kwa mtu ambaye ni pasta hapo America alikwambiaje bishop wewe die uli niombea no kanilipia school fees wakati my mother was desperate bishop nimekubuka nikasema daima nitasimama na wewe some of the people munafukuza some of the people munaona kama hana akili mimi najua mungu wa unabii mungu wa batimayo Mungu wa mama aliyetokwa na damu miaka 12. My God, I know, I know mama huyo aliyetokwa na damu 12 years na watu hata sheria ilikuwa nasema ananuka ni najisi asikaribia watu. Is the same woman after touching the garment of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 ikatimia. I know the thoughts I have towards you woman thoughts of peace to give you future and hope i believe mama aliyeguza vazi la yesu damu kasimama was given future and hope guy munafikirije huyu mama baadaye akiwa akiwe cabinet secretary unajua the other day kuna mchungaji wetu mmoja alisaidia I think Bishop Harrison wakati hakuwa na anything dawali Bishop akasema nipewe mkebuli nitarudi hakukuwa kitu Now he's blessed ameenda kapeleka millions alipopeleka Bishop mmoja wetu akamwambia Bishop wewe ni baba wa maisha yangu ameenda kwa nyumba yake akambariki sasa that bishop is driving I'm a bishop he bishop Harrison alikumbuka siku za taabu vile nilisimama na yeye wakati huo amebarikiwa akatumana kwangu nimenua igari mm, don't joke with people ninaomba mbadilike nyinyi mbadilike nyinyi Mubadrike nyinyi. Mubadrike. Huyu mtu ambaye ananuka ako na prophetic value. Mm, guy. Prophetic value. Bonus 
Asifiwe. Utaenda Heathrow Airport, ukute die sasa. Anakulaki kwa British Airways. Aka, Pastor, Bishop you are here, yes. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Anakwambia Bishop, when are you going back to Kenya? Namwambia nitakaa wiki moja. Aambia Bishop, chika namba yangu, we must meet. Mnakutana, anaanza kutoa story kama ya Batimayo. Oh, we do in Ilea. We we do in Tabilia. We we do one din kiwa katoto urinia bia nita enda bari. We we do in Ipata kwa barabara. Sometimes na pataka vijana kwa barabara na vijana hapa mukure chips. Kureni. Mukona ja kura. Za bishop bunga kubali. Ato again walevi. Sometimes unona kama I'm losing money. Nikieda hapa na ambia walevi ingeni hapa. Wakimu, tamahe waru na chips, marie, na, 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 na sausage. Na mwa hona, eh, endeni. Hello, to you, I've lost money, but to me, I never lose money. Amen. Those people, see walevi, they are human beings. Just as you used to be. They are candidates, they are mighty prophets. They are great people. Hallelujah. 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 And I'll tell you, friends, in Jesus' name, something must happen. Something must happen. Hallelujah. Mukotuna Yesu. God wants to produce in Bishop and you the anointed level of life. Anointed level of Natumeona Kwasam Kwamba. God will do two things. Kwanza ataniodoa. Atanitoa kwa hiyo shimo haribifu. Hata niacha huku. Ubaya ni wewe kiakiri na kimaisha. Store zangu zote ni za udongo uteresi. Ilo najua. Store za you na kuambia mweza kuwa mulikuwa munaongea kuhusu dugu fulani. Kwenu jioni. Hana akili. Hana nini. But maisha yangu ni meishi kushangazwa. Kushangazwa kabisa. Kushangazwa na mungu. Kwamba I have seen people tulie chekelea. Unampata wewe ukimkopa pesa. Unampata wewe ukimpigia simu. Paka unawana aibu kuangea. Ukikubuka mudomo huo wako Dio risema hana akiri Mudomo huo Dio risema hakuna mayana enda And the same mouth Inamuambia ni bariki na pesa Don't worry If God is going to raise you Forgive human beings Hawa jui wanaongea Kama wangekua ma prophet Wangesema I see a mighty man here I see a mighty prophetess. I see a millionaire there. Kama wangekua wanajua, store ya mugu mahali rekodi yangu imewekwa, wangeijua na waonke hivo kudihusu. Na kwa maana hawajui huko, wanajua kila wanaona, wasamehe. Always tell men, nitawajulisha badai. Always give chance. God, you will introduce me again. Amen. God, you will introduce me again. Nilijulikana katika shimo. Nilijulikana kama mutu abao ni pule. Udongo wa uteresi. But there is something that is only God who can do. Ata niondoa. Aniweke kwenye muamba. Miguyagu iwe set kwenye muamba. Amen. Na uwa muamba uwe very strategic. Kwa ba hakuna mutu ataepuka kuniona. Jua umuamba. Na we mwenyewe aodoe kerere kwa mdomo aniweke a new song. About whoever will see me will fear God. Na atamuimbia wibo kwa sababu yagu. Anointed level of life. Na, skiza. That one must happen. Let me prove to you something. Ni mwambia hivi. For you to be a product of anointing. Lazima kwe na initiative. 
ya wewe kukataa maisha ya buri maisha hayo ya uteresi na udai maisha mengine although uko kwa shimo la uteresi although uko hapo you also know kuna maisha mengine nje ya shimo although nimekaa kando ya barabara kama batimayo i also know ndani ya Yesu kuna maisha mengine ya katikati ya barabara usikubali kujaa taabu ya mario na kaa you let god show you ndani yake nini iko Dio sasa amen haleluya Waweza tuambia uko na 45 years, 40 or something years, huoni kama utaolewa kwa maana umejaa record ya maka. Please don't conclude. You need also to know in Christ kuna uwezo. Ufanye harusi mwaka huu. Ifunuliwe from Christ. Ifunuliwe from Christ. I know of a woman ni muhubiria Dadora alikuwa na watoto wawili wakubwa mvurana na msichana akaja kaniambia bishop and that's why ni vizuri kugudua ndani ya Kristo sio vile kuna ka around you around you is storage around you ni maoni around you ni criticism around you ni opinion but it's good to permit na ndani ya Kristo wewe kitu that lady akanipata akaambia pastor can i see you akaniambia bishop niliacha usharati niliacha tabia za giza and i know that woman had in challenge i know i know katika kristo nina mume eh sawa he nikifikiri ni mchezo bishop leverage pastor ni uraikuwa nikaona ako serious unatakaje na kuambia nilipotoka kwa ibilisi niliingia kwa Yesu. Nimekuja kukuambia ndani ya Yesu kuna ndugu akunioa. Haikuwa mchezo mna mchaka chakaka hapa mke mabe adoa hakucheka. <laughs> Mimi kitabu tuoge nikamwona nako chini amepiga magoti. Unatakaje? Niwekelee mikono. Unajua kuna mtu ana imani mpaka anazimeza mikono yako. Nikasema si ndio hii. Kae karea akaniambia mtumishi mimi sitaki mambo mengi just say a word sema nibarikiwe sema i declare blessing in just name udada alikuwa full gospel dadora dikwa ringi arkanisa within three months four months chairman wa youth wa full gospel church dadora kijana akakuja kai mauduma mweli ni magai ya kodani ya Yesu haiko huku guy ni uraigwa we nawe kuna mambo hapo haiko huku iko ndani ya Yesu Amen. brother came akamwambia sister can i see you yes nimeomba unajua kwani aliomba alienda hapo ndani ya Yesu wacha watu mnatembea huko unauza dada huyu akona akili huyu muna ana wapi oda wacheni kuturudisha kwa mengine si tatukwa naye sio research alimwambia god ameniambia na ameniongoza wewe ndio utakuwa mke wangu na hao watoto wawili wakubwa walikuwa wakubwa msichana fulana nitakuwa baba yao stories za kwamba huwezi olewa kuwa na mtoto never arrived god had spoken kuna wengine hapo wameza kijana mkubwa wameaka kuna miaka sijui 18 Mawake rorongo. Waza wa ikikikia nyendo. Sita kwa stories za Sahel ya hii. Nasema token katikati ya watu. You are the batimayo of today. Penetrate people. Kilio chako kipasue watu. Dio ndani ya Kristo. Katika store hazina ya Mungu. Mahali Bwana ameandika mambo yako. Kristo atoe kitu achomoe you know something hiyo harusi kwa kubwa sana one day siku anajua wanakaa na robi lakini na robi hii wako na plot eka mzima matajiri wa ajabu 
nilipoingia nikaambia brother brother unajua wewe kuna siku tulikuwa tuliomba upatikane <laughs> nilipoingia test one number one the lady was so happy to see pastor aliyemhubiria na aliyemwekea mikono aka kama bishop can i speak to yes watoto wale wawili ndio wale wanao walisoma wakawa na degrees juu masters they are now managers they are very rich wale tu na wale wawili tuliongeza they are all graduates hatukai na wao huku wako na familia zao and they are settled na wote wande wamefanya harusi takatifu ha hallelujah amen Bwana asifiwe. Na wale hao wawili aliolewa nao ni matajiri na hawajui baba mwingine. Wanajua this brother. Na hiyo I tell you hata karibu nikaekae kwa unajua kuna wao kwa nasikia hii kwa gani kwa hagera. The way they live nyumba yao na utajiri na story unajua kuna watu wanakuta kama brother and sister. Why? Do you know one of the thing inafanya ndio naona tunachipa hapa kuweka foundation kitu kimoja kinafanya nyumba yako hata ikienda grofa kumi. uwe comfortable is because you know the foundation uliyoweka kile kinafanya dada ule na ule ndugu wakiangaliana unaona hana shida is because they know the foundation where they started hakuna kitu peculiar Hakuna kitu strange. Hakuna kitu ya kufikiria. The foundation was very clear. And that's why their life is very clear. I say we are now heading to your life. Inaitwa anointed level of life. I say anointed level of life, anointed level of marriage, anointed level of business, anointed level of family. I say it exists. Haleluya. Hiyo dio sasa lazima you initiate. But myo dia alijua. Dani ya Kristo anayepitia Jericho. Mimi si kipofu maskini. There is a new name. Lakini katika wanadamu. That's why you should forgive human beings because they know what they see. But to Christ hajui kile anaona. Kristo akija kukutembelea hakuulizi kwenu ni wapi hakuulizi nani baba yako hakuulizi ulizaliwa hospitali gani anakuambia nilikujua kabra sija kuupa katika tubu ya mama yako and before you are born i appointed you to be a mighty man and a woman jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Alipopata mtu ajiwezi miaka 38. Story hataki. Alimwambia don't need storage. Kile niko nacho is final. Mimi sihitaji bilika ya maji. Sihitaji malaika. I am greater than angels. Amen. Usiniambie malaika uingia mara fulani. Usiniambie una watu wa kuingiza pale. Ukiniona the complicated issues of life stop and i release a final word akabwe brother chukua godoro mikono ikapona tabea kapata miguu enda that's all story ya kwamba sina watu wetu sijui ati mama yako alikuzaa akakwambia he was she was raped by mzee mwingine chivu wa kwenu he go my kid to ndio kuna story twingine tunauma sana na kama huabiwi unajua story zingine tunaambua na kina anti some of you umeharibiwa sina mama yako mama yako acha kuwabia lakini kuna ujuaji i always ask sisters and brothers kama you know this is your mom hata kama haja kuonyesha baba katika maisha Muzazi ni yule anakolea. Huyu mwingine ambao tangu kuwa mtoto hapatikani hata kulipa school fees, hapatikani hata kuwa mgojwa. Na unatoka nje research. Mmoja kule akambia baba hapa kwa bishop nimefanya research. Wapi? 
nimepata baba tunafanana hata pua mm hujai muona nilizaliwa mama yangu ameteseka na mimi amenilea sana unamtafuta wa nini na kalipata baba ana mke mwingine na hata hana haja na mama yake hiyo research mnafanyaga you are wasting time why don't you come to jesus for something in his mind why don't you come to jesus akuzae na ile originality ya kabra hujakuwa katika tube ya mama anointed level of lifestyle but the mild alijua one hapa ninaka hii sio maisha ya upako hapa ninaka hii ni maisha ya laana hii mambo ya kujamaza tu hivi hivi huchukii kitu is bad na dia alichukua hatua na akajua kitu kingine ndani ya Kristo kuna haki ambao wanadamu hawana ndani ya Kristo kuna mamlaka faino ya ubaji na aliposikia hizo anapita ni yeye sikuabiwa ni yeye alisema mwana wa Daudi undehem watu kama bia nyamaza that's why you must forgive human beings they don't know what they are doing si wao naita sauti si yao amen hawabi kitu siku hiyo ni Yesu unaita na akabia nyamaza forgive them hana shida hello bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe to god be the glory kilio kikapita watu kristo akakisikia akasema muiteni patimayo muleteni hapa simamisheni kila kitu i want to produce something from me akamwambia patimayo ugetakaje akamwambia kitu haja hayabia any mod anybody in this world kuna mambo huwezi ambia wanadamu but it's only Christ who can handle. I say wanadamu kama yeye ni kipofu they cannot give you eyes. Kuna maombi abao ukifika miguuni mwa Yesu hayo ndio Yesu anajua na anajua. Akamwambia e Bwana nipate kuona. Akaabua pata kuona. Na sio tu upofu uliodoka. Bible says but mayo alipoamuka hakurudi kando ya barabara akatebea katikati ya barabara na watu wengine ai ninaona maisha haya do you know but mayo alitebea na kina nani wale walimwambia nyamaza do you know but mayo alitebea katikati ya barabara ile abao wakati kama huo maskini wako wanatebea hii kai Can you hear this friends? Wakati watu waliona Yesu amesema simamen ni shughulikie batimayo they realize the value. Na alipotebea katikati ya barabara na wao I can imagine MP wa area akimheshimu. I can imagine hallelujah wa mama sisters union wakimpatia maji ya kunywa. Ile maji Yesu alibebea walishana batimayo. I can imagine mahali Yesu alikula dinner akaambia mimi Batimayo mambo yako na Yesu mambo yako na Yesu tuingilie wakati wa Yesu amewekwa high table Batimayo ndio huyu anakaa karibu na Yesu hivi wanasema tagu alipokuita akakwambia tukuite sisi mambo yako na Yesu tuingilie hata ukikula nyama yake kula hizo tuingilie maana mambo yako na Yesu tuingilie We did not know kwa hapa katikati yako ye yeah, katikati yako na Yesu no man should stand there. We did know. We tried to block you. Lakini Yesu akatuonyesha katikati yako na yeye nobody should interfere. We don't know how he loves you. Tumekuachia Yesu. Ukitaka kumkubatia kubatia batimayo. Ukitaka kwenda naye swimming, hata mka swim. I say hallelujah. Kuna wakati your value katika Kristo itajulikana and people will stop interfering na wajue kwamba katikati yako na Bwana no one should stand there. Hallelujah. Pigia huyu Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Bereni 
ugeenda hardware unataka simiti huuziwi baada ya batimayo kuponywa ageenda mauti Kenya hardware ya wakati huo aende amen aseme ni namjengo pale ruta nataka roli ya cement mifuko miambili bereni ageogea hivyo ageito wazimu baada ya kuponywa na kutembea katikati ya barabara na matajiri wenye hadi wako hapo batimayo akasema we meuko maka na matatu ninajenga hata kabla hajalipa anapewa i stay oh my god naomba Mungu tu akupe maisha aboni product ya mafuta yake Hey hallelujah unaweza piga simu bank uze manager weka kwa account yangu unajua kuna wakati the other days bokuwa ameharibu manager akiwa anakujua had right alikuwa na mamlaka agaweka pesa kwa account yako muongee the attempts na piga simu bank nasema manager si mnafuka saa kumi na imefika eh nilikuwa nataka 1300 bisho fanya hivi ah tupatie namba yako ya simu wanaweka namba kesho utapitia hapa tutaogea we bereni tugepewa hivyo no kuna manager aliweka account yangu 650,000 account yangu pesa ilikuwa imeisha na nimeandika macheki watu wakatoa pesa kwa account yangu sasa nikaenda nika nikifikiri na pesa akaniambia bishop do you know something account yako iko na minus 650,000 nikamwambia mimi sijasikia kitu kama hii minus ni nini yani kuna pesa bank imekulipia bo huna nikamuuliza manager What I can be a bishop can I tell you kwa hii bank and all our staff we know you are saved amen manager uliweka because I'm, yes i know you are saved where where to rock the pesa bank unajua alifanya ni yokoke hata zaidi nisi ona hiyo eh hiyo pesa nilitafuta siku hiyo nikaweka 1400 hata nilikopa where take you how hiyo wokovu imezidi bwana I am do you know you are my bishop and I know you are saved. Eh, guy. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Nataka ufike level whereby nobody can doubt you. You are so clear and God has produced you in a clear way. Beleni watu wa geogea of your of your na hawakuelewi naomba bwana akutoe katika shimo akuset katika mwamba akutie wibo mpya na utokee mpaka wanaopita waope Mungu na wanene hata waibe wibo because of you naomba hata wewe uone maisha ya kando ya barabara si mazuri it's not your anointed lifestyle si mazuri nataka ujue kitu kingine hata kama dunia haiwezi kukuponya ndani ya Kristo ndani ya Kristo there is your miracle there hata kama umeambua utakufa next year nataka ungangane ungangane because ndani ya Kristo sio next year god can do something don't just give up kwa maana umekuambia utaenda ndio therapy kwa sababu ya kasa don't give up Mwende Bwana. Mwambie Bwana. Ozu. Nimeambiwa hivi. I still believe. Ndani yako. Wewe uliyesimamisha damu katika mwanamke. Wewe uliyezikwa wakakuacho kiwa maiti ukafufuka. Wewe uliyenijua kabra hata mama yangu hajaolewa. I know Jesus. I want to hear you Jesus Christ. Amen. God in you am I dying next year? God in you am I dying? And Christ atachomoa kwa record 
ya Mungu Baba by the Holy Spirit. Na hapo ndipo Baba sema chochote atanena muamini for it dunia mwili wako kansa whatever shall obey his word. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Pigieni Yesu makofi anaishi. Ha! Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hii mjumbe tutamaliza kesho. Sababu leo sasa mna saa imeenda. Lakini nataka nataka sasa utoke kando ya barabara. Yes and life I, rem, I can imagine Batimayo akiwa na Batimayo and sons kwa maana ataliza. Hey, Batimayo baada hapo angekuja hapa bwana angepata dada. Hmm, hapa. Hey. Where? Batimayo yoa. And I can imagine supermarket yake imeandikwa Batimayo and Sun Enterprises. Arafu unaenda hapo kununua maziwa unaenda kununua unga unaenda kufanya shopping ya christmas unapatana na batimayo picha yake imewekwa kwa ukuta like the way naivas wameweka picha ya baba yao wameacha picha ya picha ya chairman imewekwa pale imeandikwa this is the chairman of batimayo and sons enterprise anaandikwa jina yake akitabulisho Una mabia o batima how are you brother? Ah we are okay. Only to discover he is more humble than you. And I say whatever you see here is anointed level of life. Ile liko ya gunachoro, nachoro ni kando ya barabara. Muobaji kipofu. What you see here is anointed product. Ha! Hallelujah. That's how walio inua hivyo hawana kiburi. Unakuta kwa bi hata vile nimevaa mimi ama product. Ugeniona. Hallelujah. Anakutolea picha akiwa kando wa barabara, akwa pia naturally. Nilikuwa navaa hivi jacket ya maskini kipofu. The way I dress today, I am a proprietor and a CEO. Sina kiburi. Ni Yesu alinitoa hapo. I am a product of anointed level of faith. Anointing produced me. Hallelujah! Mama liye toko na ndamu. Miaka yu kuminabili. Bible na muita mama. I believe. Hakuwa amefikisha. Amepitisha umri wa kuolewa. What do you think ukieda arusi yake? Mama damu ilisimama. Mama ambao hage kubalika. Watu wameja. Anasema mimi sijelewi. But whatever you see here is Jesus and his power. Whatever you see baka nabia the husband mameno rona ni matokeo ya kuhuza vazi na yesu. I'm a product of anointing. I Jesus nikaponywa tubo yake ambayo ilikuwa imechokorwa na madaktari siku hiyo alikuwa anatumia hata machuma God repaired it na kazaa watoto akiwaangalia akiwaangalia automatically anawatabiria anaiba wibo mpya i tell you aza kuona kuna kitu ndani ya Yesu toka chukia hiyo matozi unalia umelazimika kulia you are not going to cry again umelazimika kukubali ugonjwa fulani waweza kukuua i'm telling you in jesus christ yesu anakuambia chukua godoro na uende umelazimika kukubali you can die but the god of elijah anakuambia inuka ule na ukunywe kwa maana kuna safari ingine kubwa ya kiunabii unaenda i believe with all my heart in jesus I'm going to be produced. Can you forgive your beings? Do you know leo kuna wamama mume wako anakutesa just because amekuzoea? No, I know this is happen. You know, I feel bad wakati dada ambao nimehubiria anakuja kiniambia ombea mume wangu yeye uniachie 50 asubuhi. Namwambia 
Before I talk about your husband, I want to talk about you. Nataka uwe na pesa from today. No si yobe hamsini. And I give God praise kawadada wetu abawa kona business. I'm so happy ninapoka. I see a sister of your bishop niwekrea mikono kesho na da China kuleta vitu. I feel good. I feel good ukiniambia bishop pitia kamokoji uone hardware. Pitia nyama kema uone duka. I see a sister wa kanisa hii aketa kafuti kawera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Stories are kwamba. Unaomba siligi 50. Should add. In fact, women, kama mugu ata kuproduce in another level. Bible say, ni weo natakiwa kutoa. You are the help meet. Ii wapendwa. Ni kubria miaka hii yote. No nakaa kwa nyuba. Huoni. Huoni yoni haibu. Kukaa hivi. The only thing you do ni kuoga. Kai. Na kujipa. Mi nataka kuona katikati ya siku. Umejaa vubi na matope. Hii maba ya kuwa smart katikati ya siku. Saatano, very smart. Saanane, very smart. Nataka kukuona kwa barabara na magunia. Because you hate. You unachukia shida. No matter I know down here Christo put a tokia kitu na heshima. I know when Adam wote was a kuwa ongo, but my God will remain faithful. Tigian we are some coffee. Hallelujah! 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 I'm looking forward to celebration. Ah! Hallelujah! Oh, glory to God. Ninaona. Tukisherekea. Dio ni wambia taka tuwe na uwaja mkubwa. Because I want to create a space. Ya magali aboni product ya anointed life. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Matapo sekedema. Nataka kuona jumapiri monja. Wazazi wako wametoka geshagi. Wamekuja sherehe. Ya kufungua nyumba yako. Nataka kusikia mzazi wako kwa mzee. Akisema. Kama vile my mother one time alisema. Mutoto tulio tesa na tukachukia. Inaonekana katika uze wangu. Diyo mungu na inua sana. I want your, the mouth. Ya watu fulani. He produce another testimony. Unapo endere ya bele. Ah. Jesus loves you. Nataka kusikia. Ukolada na ukona nyumba. Unabia bishop. Can you please assist me? Wazazi wagu waingie dege. Waje wa, waone marina kaa. I will leave you good. Ah. Nataka nije kirimo house. Adi house. Nije. Iza maofisi. Ni pata wea dia director wa veterinary services, health services. Ni kupata tu hapo. Uniambia mtumishi barikiwa. I don't want to see you just here. I want to see you there. I want to see you there. Na wakija kwa hile gate. Wanja umeshika usema. Naja kusherekea uzima na baraka. Zamafuta inaonena kwa madhaba uhaya. I want you to come next sir bishop. Neno ulio hubili kwa revival. Linifuata kazini. Na hao diyo mato keo. Mutu mishu wabwana. Hallelujah. Kuna dugu moja the other day. Kwa kesha ya kuruka mwaka. Aliadika unabi pejibili. Iyo kitabu alibepa throughout. Ananya bishop. Uyo unda vidi na alakia. Hallelujah. Sasa kani ya bebisho kani kanisi. Ya ye. Do you know. Unana unabi. Nina jega nyumba. Tatu kubwa. Nuhipo fukwa hizo. Nika bishop. Ni unabi. 
wa mwaka wa 2019 tukiruka mwaka he was there what do i feel brother aliadika after two years na kufungua nyumba za gorofa sita sita zigine kubwa ananifungulia diary abia it happened as god spoke it was my prophecy nataka unialike nje nione mafuta it is a lifestyle it is possible may god bless you mutoke hapa mukashide ulimwengu mutoke hapa mukaonyeshwe pahara penye there is a place for you in this world i said there is a place for you in this world mikono yako ina uwezo unaka okrea mtu hivi anapona sasa unakuja na baraka pale ingine anambia bishop huyu aliponywa kazini huwa aliokoka kwa matatu huyu nilimwombea akapata kuona bring in the house of god anointed product na ni nyinyi na kuambia mtabarikiwa ajabu sema mtu ombe sasa 